trying to determine if God is calling a person to a vocation as a priest or religious requires discovering how that calling can take shape and the pathway to that vocation. Recently, during the April school vacation, Diocesan Vocation Director Father Jonathan Reardon brought three young men to visit seminaries in the Washington, D.C. area. Nick Morganelli joined in on this trip and prepared this report. Donovan Therolt, Lucas Morganelli, both 17 years old, and Joseph Mendez, a college graduate, all expressed interest to Father John Reardon in visiting a seminary to aid in their discernment for vocation. And these are great, great young men, great young men that, that are serious about their faith, they're serious about following God's will, um, and the fact that they're open to that at 16 and mid-20s is, is a blessing for us, for the Diocese of Springfield. That means that there's more out there. I want to build a stronger faith with God and serve God. So I decided I want to go into the priesthood but I'm not sure which one. Then they get to see firsthand what the seminary is like every day, you know, between um, prayer and adoration and mass and schooling and, and their formation. The first stop on the trip was St. John Paul II Seminary in Washington, D.C. Here, seminarians receive a degree in philosophy, the first step in one's journey to the priesthood, which continues with a master's degree in theology. The group toured the nearby Basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception, taking time out for prayer along the way. Sometimes we, I don't spend enough time with God, or I'm distracted, or I'm not really focusing on it. And then this trip with the praying, and I had more time to really focus. It was wonderful to participate in the Mass with the seminarians, as well as their offices, holy hours, and their different, uh, the different activities of their schedule, such as classes, recreation, and meals. The second seminary was Mount St. Mary University. The group spent time in the Rother House, which is adjacent to the St. Elizabeth Ann Seton National Shrine in Emmitsburg, Maryland. Tours for the group not only included this shrine, along with the Museum and Visitor Center, but also the Grotto of Our Lady of Lourdes National Shrine. This is easily found once in Emmitsburg, as a huge shining gold statue of Our Lady sits atop the hill, which is part of the university campus. Father Reardon participated in an evening panel discussion where seminarians asked questions to help them in their discernment. Joseph, Stephen, Lucas. One form of outreach at this seminary, or apostolic work, is to help this local organic farm. That was an added plus for the three young men. Oh, I loved the farm. The farm was wonderful. I, growing up, my family always had um, animals, and so it was wonderful to see the chickens, um, the different <laughs> livestock, as well as the planting. It was a wonderful, wonderful program that they have there and it's good for the seminarians to get some manual labor and that's really good for discernment. The road trip for Joseph Donovan and Lucas was somewhat the same, lots of snacks and naps, but each had a different realization as to whether the priesthood was still in their future. For a lot of guys, visiting and being there confirms what they've been feeling or what they feel they're called to, or it says, hey, this was great, but I don't feel called to that. That was true for Lucas. The trip helped him discern that seminary life is not for him, at least not right now, but a pursuit of an Air Force College ROTC program is, and perhaps becoming a military chaplain is in the future for him. The sermon of any vocation really happens primarily before the Blessed Sacrament. In addition to that, the environment of the seminary, the fraternity among the seminarians, uh, the, the schedule of life, uh, even the philosophy classes, the apostolic work that they do, all of it is intended to elicit from within him uh, the, a better understanding of what he's being called to do. It is a calling, but it's also a desire, right? And, and God places that desire in our hearts. Receiving communion every day, um, the chanting in the, in the is, is more moving. It moves you, it energizes you. You're happy to be there. You, you have a purpose, you bring a purpose to Mass. For Donovan, this purpose for a priestly vocation resonated with him. I determined it's, that's what it's meant for me to do. Adoration strengthened me a lot. To me, that's what really now 
was calling me to missionary work. It definitely helped me I have a clearer picture of what I want to do going forward. Joseph is leaning towards seminary life to continue discerning the vocation of priesthood. Donovan is planning on a two-week trip in July to Verona, Italy, where he will experience the seminary and life of stigmatine priests and brothers as he feels called to this vocation. Bishop Byrne actually has a great line. He says, you know, every man is called to be a father, you know, whether that's being, being a biological father or the father of a priest. Whether they end up becoming diocesan priests, religious priests, or married men, <laughs> our job is to, to walk with them as they discern what their vocation is. And Father John reminds anyone interested in any of these vocations can contact him through the Office of Vocations at diospringfield.org. Learning about the discerning, in Maryland, I'm Nick Morganelli. Thank you, Nick, and it looks like it was a really informative trip. If you or someone you know would like to explore a call to the priesthood, visit our Diocesan Vocations website at myvocation.com.